Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Grace Fagato softball field here at the Babe Ruth Complex right behind Bree Junior High for Catholic Central League softball. St. Mary's having a terrific season so far. Almost at the halfway mark. They're seven and one. They've lucked out. They had games that were couldn't be played on this time, and they played one at Lynn Woods. I think they played one or more at Linfield. So they were able to get some of the games in. They played eight games. There are teams that have only played three or four. Lily Newhall on the mound for St. Mary's. They're seven and one. Archbishop Williams making the long trip all the way from Braintree looking for their first win. The outstanding center fielder, Christina Nowicki, who had one hit in her last game. <laughs> Bragging to me about what she did, how much she carried her team. I couldn't stop her from talking about herself. I'm saying this because we're very close friends and she's out here in center field and I can, she can hear me, I'm heckling her a little bit. Terrific young lady, good basketball player, very good softball player. She hasn't had to pitch this year, she did last year. Angelia Pepe and Lily Newhall, the two pitches for St. Mary's, but Pepe had to be shut down last year and that brought Nowicki in to get some innings. First pitch to Bridget O'Reilly, the center fielder, is low for a ball. And for the first time, we have very good weather. People can actually be out here in shorts and a t-shirt. And hope everybody grabs it quickly today because this being Monday, start of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, they're going to be back to rain and damp and cloudy again. That bounces to the backstop. St. Mary's trying to make it a trifecta. They beat Matignon, they beat Spellman, both Shady and Sunday. This is their third game in three days. And they're trying to make it three straight Catholic Central League wins. Hit right through the wickets at first base. O'Reilly will reach on the error. Gracely Lacombe, the first baseman, is the hitter. High for a ball. I mentioned a long trip. Archbishop Williams, St. Mary's makes it one trip out to Williams. Williams has to make it three trips. They have to come here for St. Mary's, for Fenwick, and for Austin Prep. So they put a lot of frequent miles on their bus. Few fans here, a couple from Archbishop Williams as well. Swing and a miss, the pitch was up and in. Lacombe swung right through it. High off the glove to the backstop. The wild pitch puts O'Reilly in scoring position. Swing and a miss for strike three. So the first out is a strikeout swinging. They're going to bring up Meg Marcel, the shortstop.
in for a strike. Umpire, he's saying, I believe he's saying strike, and the right arm is going up a couple of seconds later, so I have to wait and see, make sure he calls it a strike. Hit the shot. Porozinski makes the play over the tail of Smaller. Marcel is out 6-3 to three for the second out. O'Reilly moves over to third base. 60 feet away from giving Archbishop Williams a lead. The clean up hitter, Megan Hannabury. The third baseman is the hitter. Up and in for a ball. So he was undefeated in the Catholic Central League. The one loss came at Gloucester in a tough loss. Hit foul toward the Williams dugout. A tip of the hat. I don't know whether it was Babe Ruth people or DPW. I'll give them both credit. I was here Saturday when Classical was supposed to play a game in the afternoon. And it was a swimming pool here in the infield. Not much better in the outfield. On the move. The right fielder. Marina DiBiasio, very good athlete, made the running catch. Hannaberry hit it well. DiBiasio ran it down. So the, the error doesn't hurt. The runner is stranded at third. But they did a tremendous job on this field. When I was here, Shaddy, it was a swimming pool in the infield. There was water all over the place. You need a gondola to get around the base pass. And of course they didn't work on it Sunday, but they were here probably early this morning when I came by right around noontime. The place was perfect. The pitcher's circle was down, the foul lines were down, and the field was in as good a shape as it's been in a long time. So a tip of the hat to everybody who worked on the field today to make it possible to play this game, and there's a game after this as well. For St. Mary's, it'll be Christina Nowicki, the center fielder, leading off. Batting second and playing second, Felicia D'Alessandro. The shortstop, Sam Porozinski, will bat third. In a clean up spot is Taylor Smaller, the first baseman. Batting fifth and playing right field, Marina DiBiasio. The DH, or designated player, Taylor Sullivan, will hit for the pitcher, Lily Newhall. In the number six spot, batting seventh, catching Jordan Sullivan. The third baseman, Alyssa Grossi, hits number eight. And the left fielder, Katie O'Neill, will hit number nine. Sinuki had a big day yesterday against Spellman. Hits it to shot. One pitch, one out. Nice play by Marcel. No wasted effort. Very quickly over to Lacombe at first base. Six to three for the first out. Felicia D'Alessandro swings through the first pitch. Shelby Parr on the mound for Williams. High for a ball. Talking to the coach. They're looking for their first win still, but he said they're a very young team. They're paying their dues. They're not getting killed. They're in some games. Lost a couple of tough games. Hit foul back and out of play. It's 
thought about it, held up, the pitch was high for a ball. I almost committed. Almost a perfect day, but we still can't get rid of the wind. It's been around forever. Alessandro draws a walk. St. Mary's likes to run. Let's see if they send her. Sam Porozinski, the shot stop, is the hitter. It's not that bitterly cold wind that we had before, but it's just enough of a breeze to be a pain in the neck. Down and in for a ball. Up and in again. Paige Licata in charge. She's the head coach. Doing a very good job. New assistant this year, Afton Dean, who was a very good athlete at Link Classical. And you hear her voice on TV 15. She does some of the classical basketball games. She's the video instructor. Her kids doing the St. Mary's and classical games are, she's their instructor and she does a great job getting those kids ready and they do a terrific job. And she's gonna be inducted in the Classical Hall of Fame this year. Well-deserved, terrific young lady. We're gonna miss, the count goes full. And you, some of you may know the Dean family. If you frequent the beach at all, the Rotary and the Hot Rotary down around that beach, Christie's was a landmark for years. Hafton Dean's family owned that. Hit in the air. First baseman, Lacombe goes over and takes it away from the second baseman, Bossy. So Powell, the pitcher, was behind. Porozinski comes back and gets her for the pop-up. Two away for Talia Smaller. She had a big day yesterday against Spellman also. Hits it behind first base. It's going to drop for a base hit. Alessandro didn't have to, but she slid into third base. Smaller gets the first hit of the ball game. Keeps the inning alive, first and third, for Marina DiBiasso. Had a very good hockey season. Scored some big goals for St. Mary's. Low for a ball. The runner goes, they just throw the ball down a shot stop. So second and third now, that takes away the force at first, at second. They have to go to first on the ground ball. In for a strike. Even the umpires have got short sleeve shirts today. Although that wind keeps picking up. Missing wide for a ball. Hit foul back and out of play. Right past the Williams dugout foul, fielded by the Williams coach. Popped up in the short left field, going back over the shoulder. Nice play by Marcel, the shortstop for the third out. So St. Mary's threatens, but they come up short. They leave runners at first and third. At the end of one, 
We're right back where we started, dead even. St. Mary's nothing, Williams nothing at the end of one. Five, six, and seven for Williams as we start the second inning. Shelby piled the pitcher. She throws left, uh, she throws right rather, and bats left. In for a strike. High and tight for a ball. Lily Newhall starting her second inning of work. Hit to short. Porzinski knocks it down. A little bit high. Small, it goes up and gets it. Comes back on the bag. And par was out. She hit it solidly right at Porzinski. For the first out, six to three. Becca McLaughlin, the catcher, is the hitter. Chases that high pitch and swings right through it. Took that pitch right down the middle. She chased the pitch out of the zone. Took the pitch right dead center. Quickly it's 0-2. Low for a ball. Hit behind second base, D'Alessandro with a great try. Just off her glove, over her shoulder. So McLaughlin gets a base hit. Just a little tap, going back, looking for the ball. Reached as far as she could, just off her glove, almost made a great play. Caroline Bossy, the second baseman, is the hitter. Down and in for a ball. Down and in again, two and oh. That one's in for a strike. I think he brought his right arm up. He was backing away. Hit down the first baseline. It's going to push foul. Little chop. Two balls, two strikes to the Williams second baseman. Up and in for a ball. Popped up. And it was going out of play over the Williams dugout. It actually hit the light tower and bounce back. So we'll do it again at three and two. Swing and a miss for strike three, good pitch. Two way now with a runner at first for Shelia Ford. She's the designated player hitting for the right fielder, Kerry Shaughnessy. In for a strike.
High and tight for a ball. Hit foul off the backstop. A little late swing. Hit the second. Alessandro opted to go to second for the fourth. I don't know if she forgot there was would have been three outs. So the, they get the runner from first. The play goes four to six. She was facing first base. All she had to do was throw over there. But she went to second with it. So they get a base hit. They get another base runner. Newell picked up her second strikeout. And once again, Sam Mears will have a chance to get on the board first. It'll be Taylor Sullivan, Jordan Sullivan, and Alyssa Grossi. Six, seven, and eight for the Lady Spartans as we start the bottom of the second inning. Sun keeps popping in and out. When that wind stops blowing, it's actually comfortable here at the ballpark for the first time in a long time. And we're grabbing every minute of it today because the weatherman says it's going to be rainy, damp, and cloudy the rest of the week. Shelby Powell will start her second inning of work. She got out of a first and third situation, but there was two outs. She got a pop-up with a nice play by the shortstop. Going out in the short left field, catching it over her shoulder for the third out. So you can tell Meg Marcel, the Archbishop William player, she's the only one wearing a hat, the white hat. Stands out. And as the custom has been for a lot of young ladies in this fast pitch softball, the pitcher and the third baseman are wearing masks. That started taking shape a couple of years ago when balls were getting hit back to the pitcher and lined to third. In some instances, we've seen entire infields wear them. Two quick fouls by Taylor Sullivan. She's the designated player hitting for the pitcher, Lily Newhall. So quickly, it's 0-2. Down and in for a ball. Hit high in the air to center field. Drifting back, making a play is Bridget O'Reilly. So I'm going to that one and skied at the center field for the first out. Jordan Sullivan, the catcher, will be the hitter. Down and in for a ball. That one hit her on the foot. So Samiri says a base runner. And they'll have a pinch runner, I believe. 
Usually it's Julian, Julian Niccolo. I don't know if it still is. Julie's going to be a very good young player for the St. Mary's team. She played very well for the Wyoming team. Coach Wilkins had her a couple of years. They they did very well going to the winning the states. Inside tight, and they steal second base. They fake the bunt so they could steal second base. Niccolo in scoring position. They do that to try and distract the catcher and help the base runner. Alyssa Grassi had a very good year. St. Mary's basketball. She helped them get to the state final. She was part of the team that won the Div Division North, won the Eastern Mass, were East Division North and Eastern Mass champions. And he picked a very bad day to have a very bad game in Worcester and got beat. But there were a lot of teams who would have liked to have lost that game at Worcester, but they didn't get there. St. Mary's did. In the dirt again for ball four. So hit pass for the walk, put two on with one out. For Katie O'Neill, the left fielder. Up and away for a ball. Down and in for a ball. Top of the order, Christina Nowicki on deck. Chases that high pitch and fouls it way foul down the street here at Breed Junior High. Down the roadway behind the field. Hits it foul again, way off to the right side. Hit foul past first base. We're running out of softballs. High for a ball. Good at bat by O'Neill. Make him pass throw some pitches. Big pitch coming up for both teams. Hit foul again off the backstop. O'Neill is wearing power out. Hit the second base. They get one, they don't get two. They get the hit the runner in the middle. So once again, St. Mary's has first and third with two outs. This time for Christina Nowicki. She grounded out shot to first. She hit it hard, but hit right at the shortstop. Takes the pitch for a strike. The runner looking to get hooked up. Just got back to first base. She was trying to get hooked up between first and second, maybe trying to steal a run. And O'Neill had to turn around and hustle back and dive head first. And just outreached the tag 
of the first baseman, Lacombe. Hit off the pitcher's glove, that's going to be a base hit. Nowicki comes through with two outs. Shortstop was going behind the mound to go get it. The pitcher deflected it back to shortstop. Niccolo running for Jordan Sullivan scores the run. First of D'Alessandro drew a walk. <coughs> Fakes the bunt. <coughs> Normally when they fake the bunt, they're stealing bases. High for a ball. So a big two out hit by Nowicki. Can see Mary's on the board first. In for a strike. Hit foul to the backstop. Hit hard into left field for a base hit. Descending O'Neill should score easily. So big two out hits by Nowicki and D'Alessandro. And St. Mary's has jumped on top. O'Neill scoots around with the second run. Still two on with two outs. Sam Porozinski the hitter. She popped the second her one trip. Hit in the right center field, it's gonna drop. <laughs> two out lightning. Three straight hits with two outs. Nowicki scores, D'Alessandro scoots over to third. And we'll see Porzinski at second, I'm sure, on the first pitch. High for a ball. So second and third now. Italia Smaller who got a base hit. Her first at bat. She'd like to get another one here. See Mary's has got three runs. Three straight two out hits. Down and in for a ball. Smaller is the eighth hitter in the inning. In on the hand, she fouls it to the backstop. Hit up in the air. Shortstop Marcel makes the play. So you get the third out, but not before St. Mary's has a, a lot of two out lightning. Three two out hits, Nowicki, D'Alessandro, Porozinski, and that gives Lily Newhall a three run cushion when she'll start her third inning of work at the end of two. St. Mary's th three. Archbishop Williams, nothing. I think I said St. Mary's beat Matignon and Spellman. They actually beat Fenwick and Matignon. They destroyed arch rival Fenwick. And that's. Something that's boiled over since the last Thanksgiving football game that has caused more problems than it's worth. Meg Brio, the left fielder, will lead off and then back to the top of the order for Williams. Down and in for a ball.
Fishing low again for a ball. High for a ball, quickly as 3-0. and oh. On four pitches, Brio draws a walk. So for the second time in three innings, Williams has the leadoff hitter on. It'll bring up the top of the order. Bridget O'Reilly, who reached on an error, Hit it to the right side and went right through into right field. In for a strike. Hit to the right side, D'Alessandro. Long way to her left, gets it. Throws O'Reilly out, play goes four to three. Brio moves down to second base. Richley Lacombe, the first baseman, struck out swinging her one trip. Missing inside for a ball. Missing wide for a ball. Swings through that pitch and it's two and one. Lacombe is the Williams first baseman. That one hit Lily Newhall off the, the leg of the thigh. She felt that one. She stayed with it and threw the runner out. Let's hope she's okay. A line shot back to the mound. Nicole Gagnon, the trainer, quickly out to the mound. A line shot hit her. Thank God it hit her not in the knee or a bone hit her. It looked like it hit maybe in the thigh or rather than on a, on a bone part. She stayed right with it. Threw the runner out at first. And they're out to make sure she's okay. Looked like it hit it just above the knee, thank God, not on the bone. They're going to have her walk around. Looks like she's okay, thank God. Stretching the leg. Even the Archbishop Williams coach is over there. Checking on her. They're letting her throw a couple of pitches to make sure she's okay. That was either catch her or eat it. You had no chance. She couldn't even get her glove up. A line shot by Lacombe right back at her. And she gets a hand from everybody who's here. A lot of fans along the left field fence and out in the outfield. And thank God she's okay. Two outs with the runner at third now. Meg Marcel, the shortstop, has to take off her white hat to put the batting helmet on. She grounded out, shot to first. She hit it well, but hit it right at the shortstop. Pops the pitch up. It drops in for a base hit. So 
So Williams gets a little two out lightning. She jumped on the first pitch. Williams gets on the board. Brio manufactures a run, a walk, grounder, two grounders, puts her at third. She scores on the two out hit by Marcel, and it's three to one. Megan Hennebury. Hennebury hit the ball hard, but DiBiasio chased it down in right field. Throw, looked like it would have been a time, but it sailed to the second base side of second base. And Marcel is able to steal second base and put herself in scoring position. Porzinski had a cross beyond the second base back towards first base to catch that throw. And Marcel was able to get in standing up. Willie Newhall is the niece of the AD, Jeff Newhall, who does an outstanding job at St. Mary's. Chased that pistol, was way out of the strike zone. He's not only the basketball coach, he's the AD, and he has to, now they gave him a couple of more rowing and rugby and a couple of other sports to add to all that he's got. In for a strike. I think we got deuces wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And there's another line shot. Lily Newhall saying, thank God this inning is over. That's two line shots. The first one, she couldn't even get her glove up. It hit her in the leg, and thank God she was okay. And now she sees her life pass before her again. That line shot, she just got a glove up and made the play. Williams gets on the board. The walk hurt. The walk came around to score. On the two out hit by Marcel. First inning that Newhall did not get a strikeout. But she was glad the inning was over with those two shots back to the mound. You wonder why some of these pitchers wear a mask. It'll be five, six, and seven for St. Mary's. Marina DiBiasio, Taylor Sullivan, Jordan Sullivan. So St. Mary's got three in the bottom of the second. Williams answers with a run on the two out hit by Meg Marcel, and everything has been two out lightning. St. Mary's got Three straight hits, Nowicki, D'Alessandro, and Porozinski. Three, baits, three straight singles with two outs to knock in the three runs. And now Marcel gets a two-out hit to knock in Williams' run. Tibiasso popped up to the shortstop her one trip. Marcel making a nice play going out. A couple of steps in the outfield grass over a shoulder and picking the pop-up. And that was with runners at first and third. Ending the first inning. We mentioned she's had a, actually two very good hockey seasons for St. Mary's. Hit foul. Yo, you left your drinks. She likes that high pitch, fouls it back. Quickly, it's 0 2. Hits it to right field. One step to her right. 
The right fielder, Kerry Shaughnessy, makes the play. One small step. He also hit it well, but hit it virtually right at the right fielder. Taylor Sullivan got under it, skied it to the center fielder, her one trip. That's going to be in the gap to the fence. Around first, into second with a stand-up double is Taylor Sullivan. I mentioned those three two-out hits that were helped along earlier in the inning by a hit batsman and a walk that helped extend the inning. Jordan Sullivan was the one that got hit by a pitch, and Julia Nicolo running for her scored the first run. High for a ball. So she hasn't batted officially, but she's been on base, and the runner for her scored the first run. Popped up, and it's going to go out of play. Beyond the reach of McLaughlin, the catcher. That one wound up in the St. Mary's dugout area. Bottom of the third, three to one St. Mary's. As we mentioned before, looking for a trifecta. Three straight days, three straight wins against Catholic Central League competition. Swing and a miss. They ran roughshod over Fenwick. And they beat Matignon as well. Swing and a miss again. First strikeout for Parr. And it brings up Melissa Grassi who drew a walk, her one trip. Hit in the air behind second base. Going back, second baseman Bossy makes the play. So the double doesn't hurt. St. Mary's leaves a base runner. We finish three in this Catholic Central League battle. St. Mary's leading Archbishop Williams, three to one. Five, six, and seven <coughs> for Archbishop Williams as we start the fourth inning. Shelby Parr, the pitcher. Hit it hard, but hit it right at Porosinski, the shortstop, and got thrown out. She let off the second inning. She's leading off the fourth inning. <laughs> Lily Newhall took a couple of deep breaths after that last inning with those two line shots. High for a ball. In for a strike, two and one. Low for a ball. Three and one. Slicing it foul off to the left side. Out of play. So the payoff pitch will be up and coming. Three and two. Pitcher against pitcher here. Down and away for ball four. So for the third time, Williams in four innings has the leadoff hitter on. Second straight inning due to a walk.
Becca McLaughlin got a big shit. She popped it just beyond the reach. D'Alessandro almost made a great play. Going back in the outfield over the shoulder, almost made a great catch. Hit the shot. Porozinski's only got one play, and that's at first base. Nice play by Porozinski. She was favoring the second base bag, so she had to go way to her right to go get it, and had no chance for the runner at second. We made a good, strong throw over the smaller to get the runner at first. Caroline Bossy, the second baseman, struck out swinging. For one trip. High and tight for a ball. Off the glove, that's going to move the runner over to third. So the walk to ground out in the wild pitch puts Pa the pitcher at third base with one out. In for a strike. Two one the count. Swing and a miss, evens the count at two. Newhall would love to have a strikeout here with the runner at third base. Hit foul to the third base coach, nice play by the Williams coach. Down and in for a ball, so a big pitch coming up here. The payoff pitch up and coming. A walk will put the tying run on base. Hit the third, they only have one play at first. Bossy will get an RBI, nice play. By Grossi, the third baseman, she had a cut in front of the shortstop. Wasn't hit that hard. And Williams creeps a little closer. Three to two. Celia Ford, the designated player, hitting for the right fielder. Bounced into a fielder's choice. So Bossy gets an RBI. Williams gets another run, all of a sudden it's three to two. He threw that one behind the hitter. That was a major league wild pitch. Down and away for a ball. Chased that high pitch and just kind of waved at it. Not a very strong swing. Lily Newhall got a little bit of help there. Hit right to the shortstop. A little half swing. So Williams is down in the fourth. We're halfway through the ball game, but they got themselves another run. And once again, the walk hurt. The walk comes around the score. Newhall has, has walked two. 
and both of them have scored. So they don't get a hit, a walk, a ground ball, a wild pitch, and a ground ball. Gets Williams with, back within three to two. So they switch the outfielders around a little bit. The left fielder is now the right fielder. The right fielder is now the left the left fielder. For St. Mary's it would be nine, one, and two. Katie O'Neill, Christina Nowicki, Felicia Delessandro. O'Neill reached in the field his choice her first time and came around to score one of the Lady Spartans' three runs they got in the second inning, which now is the difference in the game, leading three to two. So Shamir's will try to go to work and get a little bit of the breathing room here. In for a strike. Pye just had that little hiccup in the second inning. Where with, she hit a batter, walked a batter, and then with two outs gave up three hits. Chased that high pitch and hits it to right field. Way over her head. Meg Brio makes the play. So one up, one down in the fourth. Christina Nowicki grounded out shot the first. Got the first of three straight two out hits. Knocked in a run and she scored the third run. And now that third run that she scored is the difference in the game. So she's two thirds of the offense. Scoring one and knocking one in. Pop foul back and out of play. In the air behind second base, long run for the right fielder, gets there and makes the play. So two straight plays by Meg Brio. Two up, two down in the fourth. Felicia Alessandro was perfect. She walked, she got the second of the three straight two out hits, knocking in a run. So she's one for one with an RBI. She hits it off to the right side out of play. Up and away for a ball. Hit foul off the backstop. Hit the shot. Nice throw, nice pick at first base. Marcel does a nice job at shortstop. Made that look smooth. We got our first one, two, three inning for either team in the ball game. 
As St. Mary's goes down, one, two, three in the fourth. We've completed four. And the difference is the second inning for St. Mary's. It's St. Mary's three, all in the second inning. Archbishop Williams, two at the end of four. Angelia Pepe, who will be the new pitcher, taking over for Lily Newhall. Newhall goes four, gives up the two runs. They were both earned. Gave up only two base hits. She walked two, both of them scored, and struck out two. So Pepe will try to save it. Meg Briel, the right fielder now, she was the left fielder, takes the pitch for a strike. Looks like he's gonna try and bunt. It didn't come close. And it's 0-2. She walked and scored the one run back in the third inning. In for strike three. So Pepe makes her presence felt right away. Bridget O'Reilly, the second baseman, reached on an error and bounced to second base. Hit foul to the backstop. Hit foul again, quickly 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. Almost looked like you were stepping to the St. Mary's dugout. So two quick strikeouts start the fifth inning. Priestley Lacombe, the first baseman, is struck out swinging, and she hit that shot off Newhall's leg that had everybody shaking. That was that was the inning where they lined it off her leg. Thank God it didn't hit a bone. And then a base hit knocked in the run, and the next hitter lined it right back to New Orleans. She stuck the glove up and saved herself, snagging the line drive. So that was an inning that New Hall won't forget too quickly. Swing and a miss. That's a pretty good inning for Pepe coming in. Strikes out the side and does it very quickly. We'll move into the bottom of the fifth. It'll be three, four, and five, the heart of the order for St. Mary's. To face Shelby Parr, who will be starting her fifth inning of work. St. Mary's got three. All three coming with two outs in the bottom of the second inning. Three straight two out hits by Nowicki, D'Alessandro, and Porozinski. Got them the three runs. And it was a hit batsman on a walk before that that extended the inning. Williams got a big two out hit of their own in the third by Marcel, who's been playing extremely well at shortstop. And they got another one in the fourth with another base hit. Again, it was a walk leading the inning. A ground out, a wild pitch, and a ground out. Got Williams the run. So that's who we are, three to two as we sat at the bottom of the fifth. We mentioned St. Mary's trying to make it three in a row on three consecutive days. 
Saturday, Sunday, Monday in the Catholic Central League. And if the boys beat Williams today, they'll do the same thing. The boys beat Arlington Catholic and Cardinal Spellman Saturday and Sunday. They'll be looking to knock Williams off to make it a trifecta for them as well. Sam Porozinski popped to the second baseman and her hit was the third straight hit with two outs that knocked in the run. That's the difference in the game. Pops it up. Uh, battling the fence, you can't blame Lacombe for that. She was looking for the ball, had to worry about running into the fence. And it just tipped off her glove. Well, Porzinski gets a life. Reaches for it again, it pops it up. Nice running catch by the right fielder, Brio. She made two nice plays in the fourth inning. They moved her over from left field. She makes her fourth play. Talia Small is singled and popped to the shortstop. Talia is the first baseman for the Lady Spartans. Hit in the gap. That's going to go to the fence. That's going to be an extra base hit. Second double for St. Mary's. Second hit for Smaller. So a runner at second with one out. The last double was a runner at second and one out. Pop pitched her way out of it with a strikeout and a pop-up. She had retired eight of the last nine she faced before giving up the double. The, the one base runner was the double by Taylor Sullivan. Did be honest the right field was popped the shot and fly to right. I likes that low pitch. Pop back out of play. That's a pitch you might want to take, but you can't with two strikes. Piled off to the right side. Diviaso hanging around. Popped up again out of play. Everybody chasing foul balls. So we'll do it again. High for a ball. Good, good at bat by DiBiaso, whatever she does. She's making pass throws from pitches. That one goes to the backstop. That's going to move the run to the third. Smaller, easy over the third. So now DiBiasco wants to put the ball in play, get that run home. She'd love a base hit, but she wants to put at least in play to get that run home from third. 
And she does. She got a base hit. Solid shot into left field. She's got an IBI. Samir's gets a little bit of breathing room now. Pushing that lead to four to two. Taylor Sullivan has flied to center and doubled to left center. Let's see if they do anything with DiBiaso at first base. Can't do it in the first pitch. Taylor Sullivan fouled it off. She's the DH, D designated player actually, hitting for the pitcher who is now Angelia Pepe. She was hitting for Newhall. Hit deep to left center field, one hop to the fence. Hustling around. They send the runner home. The throw to the plate will not be in time. Gets away from the catcher, and that'll put Sullivan. She gets her second double. The throw from the shortstop was in the dirt. DiBiaso hustled around and scored. Well, Samiri's got their three-run cushion back. Hit a long way foul. So after an out, a double, a single, and a double have scored two. And when the throw of the plate got away a little bit, Taylor Sullivan wound up at third base. Hit foul again off to the left side. Jordan Sullivan got hit by a pitch. Julia Niccolo running for her score to run. Last time up, she struck out swinging. Again, she'd like to put the ball in play with the runner at third. St. Mary's looking for their second three-run inning. Shot in a left field. Foul. Just get out in front just enough to pull it foul. Solid shot by Sullivan, the catcher. Just pulled it foul. Alyssa Grassi, the on deck hitter. Right down the middle for strike three. No question about that one. So two away. Grassi has walked and popped to the second baseman. Hit. Behind second base, it's in for a base hit. Another big two-out hit. That's four runs St. Mary's has got on four two-out hits. And they've got their second three-run inning. So Grossi comes up big with two outs. Katie O'Neill, the left fielder, reached in the field of choice and scored. Off the first baseman's glove. Hustling around, going to third. O'Neill reaches on the arrow. Second error in the inning. Extends the inning for Christina Nowicki. She is grounded out. Singled in a run and scored and flied to right. Solid shot over the left fielder's head. All the way back to the fence. O'Neill is going to score easily. Nowicki who can run flying around. She's in third with a triple. Her second triple in two games. She gets her second and third RBI. 
She got all of that one. So Williams was hanging around and St. Mary's has put the pedal to the metal here in this inning. Scoring five. And they still have a runner at third with two outs. Felicia D'Alessandro, who was walked, shingled in a run, and grounded a short. She's the ninth hitter in the inning. Pushes the bunt on the first base line. She beats it for a base hit. She gets her second RBI. Nowicki scores her second run. Six runs in the inning for St. Mary's. Porozinski, who started the inning flying out to right field, is up again. Hit in the air. Long run for the right fielder. So both times, Porozinski flies out to right field. But St. Mary's puts a lot of distance between them and Fenwick now. Six hits, there were two errors. And that very close three to two ball game is now nine to two St. Mary's at the end of five. Meg Marcel, she's played very well at shortstop. She got a base hit, a big two out hit in the thirds are not going to run. She hit it solidly the first time, but hit it right at the shortstop. So she's one for two with an RBI. She's leading off the sixth inning. And she maybe just put a lot of daylight now between them and Williams. Hit in the air, long run. Great play by Nowicki. Long run. And she's left hand. She had to reach across her body. That's a great play. Outstanding effort by Christina Nowicki. Takes a base hit away. That's an ESPN highlight tape. She had to go a long way into right center field. Made the diving catch. That breaks the streak of strikeouts. Pepe come in in the fifth, replacing Newhall and struck out the side. Great play by Christina Nowicki. to go along with a three RBI. And it wasn't easy because she's left-handed. She had to reach across her body. Hit right over the first base bag into short center field. And they almost tagged the girl off at first base. She overran the bag and walked back. D'Alessandro chased her, almost tagged her out. Hanneberry. Get a base hit the last time up. She hit a line shot to Newhall caught on the mound. She had to catch it or probably would have killed her. So Pepe gives up her fish first hit. In for a strike. Shelby Pye, the pitcher, is grounded out, walked and scored. Slices it the other way. That's going to be foul past third base. <laughs> High for a ball. One through the count. Pitcher against pitcher here. Punches it foul over the backstop. And we'll do it again at one and two. Just got a piece and fouled it off. This might be Meg Miller 
who's pinch hitting, I, th I think. I think I saw number 15 on her back. We're a long way away. So she, I think she's pinch hitting for the pitcher. Swing and a miss. Oh, Pepe gets another strikeout. That's her fourth. Pekka McLaughlin singled and grounded a shot. And she hits it to short again. Poor Zinsky throws her out at first. So they give up the base hit. But Pepe gets out of the inning easily with the strikeout and the ground out. Williams is down to their last three outs. And for St. Mary's, it'll be four, five, and six in the bottom of the sixth. And they're well on the way to hitting the trifecta, as I mentioned before. Three Catholic Central League teams they played. Saturday, Sunday, this being Monday. And this will be their third straight, and they'll stay undefeated in the Catholic Central League. Talia Small, um, Marina DiBiasio, Taylor Sullivan, the three hitters for St. Mary's. Smaller has singled and doubled and scored a run. So St. Mary's done all their damage in two innings. A three run second and a six run fifth. They got three two out hits in the Second inning to score three. One of their six runs was a two out hit in the fifth. So four of their runs have come on two out base hits. The single and double in Sam was in between, Smaller popped up to the shortstop. The Mary's baseball team look like they're back. I don't know if that's the varsity or the JVs. Missing for a ball. In for a strike. High and tight for a ball. And that's ball four. Well, Smaller is on for the third time. Marie DiBiasso popped the short, fly to right, and got a big hit in the fifth inning, knocked in a run and scored a run in that big six-run fifth inning. In for a strike. So she's one for three with an RBI and a run scored. And 
everybody in the starting lineup for St. Mary's has either scored a run or knocked in a run. Like D'Alessandro, she hasn't scored a run, but she's knocked in two. Hit straight away to center field by D.B. Osseo. O'Reilly makes the play for the first out. It'll bring up Taylor Sullivan. She got her the first time. She flied out straight away center field. But the last two times up, she doubled. The last time up, the double knocked in a run, and she scored a run. So she's two for three with an RBI and a run scored. And she's now got another base hit. And she drills it in the left field to put runners at first and second. Jordan Sullivan got hit by a pitch. Julia Niccolo running for her, scored the run. Last two times up, she struck out. One swinging, one called. Down and in for a ball. Hit in the left field for a base hit. The run will score. Smaller scores for a second run. First and second. And Niccolo again will run at first base. Well, St. Mary's has put double digits on the board. It's now 10 to 2. Alyssa Grassi walked, popped a second, got a big two out hit in the fifth, knocking in a run and scored a run. I actually, I said four two out hits. It's actually seven two out hits because they got three more in the fifth inning. They got three in the second. So six two out hits. And that's seven of the nine runs on those six two out hits. One out, two on, one in. Missing low for a ball. And that puts Grassi on with the walk and lows the bases for Katie O'Neill. Chase that high pitch out of the strike zone, swung right through it. O'Neill reached in the field of choice and scored, reached on error and scored. Sam was in between, she flied out to right field. Hit out in front of the plate. They throw it away at the plate, trying to get the runner coming home, and the arrow's going to score two runs. A little too much mustard on the throw. They had all she had to do was. Toss it underhand, and she drilled it. Christina Nowicki will be the hitter. She got a single and a triple 
in four trips, and she's got three RBI. So six base hits with two outs have accounted for seven of the 12 runs they have. Hit foul again. High for a ball. So they had the easy play at the plate for the force, and they put a little too much mustard on the throw and threw it right by the catcher. And two runs were able to score on the play. And the runs move up to second and third. Now off the catcher's glove, that's going to score another one. Still only one out. High for a ball. Solid shot, just got out in front and pulled it foul. Got all of that one. Just pulled it past third base. Nowicki, as she does more often than not, she's the leadoff hitter, she sets the table. And she certainly did it today. Popped up. Nice play by the first baseman, Lacombe. She had a battle defense. Makes the play on the pop-up. Two way now for Talisandro. She went on base three times, walked. Singled in a run, grounded out the short, singled in a run. So she's two for three with two RBI. Last time up, she laid down a perfect two out bunt, beat it for a base hit and an RBI in that big six run inning. Three and all. Power had walked only two coming into the inning. Neither one of them scored. She did hit a batter that scored. And she walks Porozinski on four pitches. And for the second inning in a row, St. Mary's will bat around. Porozinski batted twice in the fifth. Both times she flied out to right field. I think Williams automatically thought the runner was going to steal second base. They threw it to the shortstop. Now the runner goes. Hit in the center field for a base hit. Two runs are going to score. The second six run inning.
and it's 15 to 2, and I think they're saying the mercy rule is kicking in. I thought it was 15, but the mercy rule is 12, I guess, because St. Mary's gets it done. And that's another big 2 RBI, 2 out hit. Boy, you count them up, 3 in the second inning, 3 for 4 runs in the 5th inning. Now another one here in the 6th. That They piled it up. They get the second six-run inning, and it it was close. Going into the bottom of the fifth, it was three to two. Williams gave them all they could handle, but then St. Mary's put up six in the fifth and six in the sixth, and they win it going away. Fifteen to two over Williams. They'll make it three for three. Catholic Central League teams that they beat on three consecutive days. And they stay undefeated in the Catholic Central League with their eighth win. Nowicki had a single, a triple. She scored one and knocked in three. D'Alessandro had two walks, two singles, scored one, knocked in two. Porozinski had two base hits, knocked in three. Tanya Small had a single, a double, a walk, scored two, knocked in, uh, scored two. Marina DiBiaso had a single for an RBI, scored a run. Taylor Sullivan had two doubles, a single, knocked in a run, scored two. Jordan Sullivan got hit by a pitch, got a base hit, knocking in a run. Both times, Nicolo running for her scored, both times she ran for her. Grossi had a walk, two walks. An RBI single, she scored two. Katie O'Neill reached in the fielder's choice, reached on, on an error twice, and all three times she reached, she scored. And St. Mary just had two out lightning, three straight hits after two outs in the second. Another three hits with an error in the fifth that knocked in four more. And then again, uh, a big two out hit for two runs for Porozinski in the sixth. And St. Mary's, the Mercy Rule kicks in. Their second straight Mercy Rule win as they win over. Archbishop Williams, Williams have to wait again for their first win. St. Mary's goes to set eight and one, undefeated in the Catholic Central League. And as I said, they complete the trifecta. They win three straight Catholic Central League games, Saturday, Sunday, and now here on Monday to go to the eight and one. Lily Newhall will get the win going four innings, giving up two runs, two hits. She walked two, they both scored. She struck out two. Uh, Angelia Pepe came in and pitched two innings. She gave up a hit, didn't let up a run, struck out four in her two innings of work. She gets uh, the save. Lily Newhall gets the win, and St. Mary's picks up their eighth win to go eight and one. So the final score in the Mercy Rule, 15 to 2, St. Mary's over Williams. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.